All right, you guys, welcome to class. My name is Teacher Chad. Uh, this hour, we are going to be, uh, excuse me, uh, talking about uh, the death penalty, okay? We'll be taking a, taking a look at some vocabulary words, uh, uh, learning some new ones or, or reviewing some words, if you already know what they mean. Um, and then uh, we'll also uh, read a, a short article. And then at the, at the end, we'll be uh, uh, discussing some... Uh, um, some topics. I've got about six, six or seven different questions that I'd like to uh, uh, to go over with everybody and uh, and share our opinions, our thoughts, and things like that. And we'll try and keep it as uh, as civil as possible. I really just want to uh, have a have a uh, a, a nice conver conversation about it. Even though some people may have uh, different uh, different uh, uh, opinions or different points of view. Okay, uh, so uh, let's see who we have in class so far. Adrian, welcome back. How you doing? I just muted him because okay. of the noise. Oh, sorry, it was a noise. Sorry. There you go. I'm, hey, Adrian, I'm how you doing? Yes, yes I'm back. Is awesome. my mic too loud? Okay. Well, good. Good to have you back. Nice to see you again. My microphone is not too loud. Uh, nope, I can hear you just fine. Yeah, it sounds it sounds great. Okay. All right. How about uh, Aga? Aga, how are you? Hello. I'm still just fine. <laughs> great. Nice to see you again. Uh, let's see, Juan. Welcome back. How you doing? Juan, I can't hear you. Um, I do see uh, beautiful Costa Rica there, though. Uh, let's see, Nikon, welcome back. How are you? Hi, Chet. Hi, good to see you again. How was your weekend? It was okay. Okay, all right. Uh, let's see, we've got uh, Dennis back in class. How you doing, Dennis? He may still be on that default mute as well. All right, when you guys are uh, uh, able to, go ahead and uh, unmute your microphones. I put the link to the class in the uh, in the chat box. Go ahead and open that up, you guys. And I'll also I'm gonna put it on this sheet here. All right, very good. Yeah. So uh, this hour, I wanted to talk about uh, uh, the death penalty. Um, now, in, in the United States, uh, the way that it works is that uh, each state uh, gets to decide uh, if they are going to impose the death penalty or not, or if they're going to have life, life in prison. So it really depends on which state you live in, whether or not they have the death penalty. Now, it also depends on the crime, okay? Because if you commit a crime in California, you cannot be tried for it in uh, Louisiana, for example. Okay, uh, you you have to follow those particular uh, sets of laws. Okay, in uh, in California, and if California doesn't have the death penalty, which I don't think they do, um, then uh, then uh, you wouldn't have to face that. Okay, so um, uh, this is a a touchy subject for some people. Some people believe strongly in it. Uh, other people uh, uh, don't. Uh, but I thought it was interesting. I, I uh, we've been talking about gun control. Uh, which was uh, another has been another uh, touchy subject, um, as well as I forget the last one we did, um, but uh, but we have these uh, different uh, uh, these different uh, type of discussion discussion uh, starters that uh, that we can get into, and I always think it's uh, it's interesting uh, to bring those about. Um, it also forces us to think another way instead of saying, "Hi, my name's Chad. I like to play the guitar." I like to sing, I, you know, all these basic things that you guys keep repeating. So I want to try and, and venture off into into another land, and uh, kind of force your minds to uh, to say uh, to think think of other things and uh, and uh, and have you practice your your English speaking in uh, uh, about different topics. Okay, so that's the that's our purpose here. Go ahead and open up the link. Uh, when you do, you'll see this almost. Right there, okay. Um, all right, and we are going to 
start down with the vocabulary words. Okay, this is page one. Uh, let's uh, scroll down. Okay, and uh, we're going to start right here where it says vocabulary review. All right, now the idea here is that we've got uh, 12 different words. Okay, and uh, then we have A through L. Okay, so I want you to read the word. Okay, that belongs to you, and tell me uh, what you believe the definition would be. Okay, I'll help you out as much as I can. We can also take a look at pictures if you uh, don't understand what it means. All right, so let's start off with Adrian. Adrian, uh, check out number one, please, and uh, and tell me what you believe that means. Capital punishment. Capital punishment. Punishment. Mm -hmm. To punish uh, some someone with death. Good, yeah. So another word, you guys, for the death penalty is capital punishment. Okay, I don't know exactly where that comes from or why it's called capital punishment, but that's just the word, uh, the uh, you know, the legal phrasing that we have for it, capital punishment. Okay. In French, is peine capitale. Oh, okay. So same same thing. Uh, is it the uh, is it the same in uh, Spanish, you guys, or in uh, uh, in Turkish? What other languages do we have here? Uh, Dennis, you're in Russia, right? Dennis and Aga, Aga, um, remind me where where you at? Are you in Algeria, Aga? No, I'm from Poland. Dang it! So off. That was I was way off on that. Yeah, is it uh, <laughs> is it uh, sort of the same same word there for you guys? So capital punishment. No, exactly. All right. What is what is it for uh, for you, Nihon? Mm, it's an. Um, what would it translate to be? That punishment. Exactly. This translate is that punishment. Okay, death punishment. Okay. All right. All right, very good. Uh, let's go to Aga. Number two, please. Uh, abolished. Uh, where? Well, I cannot find the definition, but if I, rem if I <clears throat> think, well, is it like uh, when, for example, um, I don't know, there is a king, let's say, and some people want to, uh, like, I don't know that this the word the right word dismiss the person like they don't want this person to rule anymore. Is um, it this or not? That that would be um, you know more like maybe a coup, okay, where they kind of throw the person out of power. Uh, abolished. So for example, uh, with um, uh, let's see, President Abraham Lincoln in the United States, uh, he uh, he abolished slavery. Okay, so uh, they had stopped slavery um, in in the United States uh, at that time. Uh, though they had stopped it, um, uh, racism still existed for uh, many, many, many years in the U.S. Okay, All right, so okay. so what would abolished mean in, in that sense? Um, is it would it be the dis discounted? Yeah, good. Discontinued. Discontinued. Yeah. Excellent. Very good job. Thank you. Thank you. All right. And let's see here. Amparo, how are you? I'm fine. Thank you. Great. Number three, please. Treason. Okay. Treason. Treason. Mm -hmm. And what do you believe treason would mean? A crime of betrayal against a country or its leaders. Okay, good. Yeah, a crime of betrayal against its a country or its leaders. Okay, so if you do something to harm your country, okay, give out information or uh, you know whatever it may be, okay, where it's against uh, it's against your country, that would be uh, called treason. Mm -hmm. Okay. In fact, when uh, um, when the founders of the United States. Um, uh, uh, they they com they uh, committed treason, okay. So they uh, they committed treason in separating themselves from from England, okay. It's actually what they were doing. Okay? Is it the same of traitor? 
Um, it's non non uh, type treason. A traitor. I, I yes, yes. So if you commit treason, you're a traitor. Yes. Okay. Yeah, a treasonous act. Um, uh, yeah, the traitor. A, a traitor. Um, yeah, yeah. If you commit treason, you're a traitor. Yeah, definitely. Okay. okay. Um, and that's yeah. That's how we would say that. We would say commit treason. Okay. I don't believe that there we have like a, a to to trees. Okay. I don't. I don't. I don't think we have a, a an actual verb. It, it, at least that I'm aware of. Okay. We usually say commit treason. We combine the two. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, how about number four? Uh, number four is for Dennis. Dennis, can you hear me? Okay. Uh, yeah. I want to. All right. Welcome, welcome to class, Dennis. Uh, number four, please. A lethal injunction. Injunction. Okay, that's leth lethal. Le uh, lethal. Yeah. There you go. Lethal injection. Now, what would lethal injection be? What do you think? Uh, it's uh, the purposeful administration of a drug that kills. Okay, yeah, so um, this is one of the ways, okay, one of the ways that, uh, that uh, um, the death penalty or capital punishment is carried out, okay, lethal injection, okay. Um, now, I mean, we do, we have had um, the electric chair, okay, the electric yeah. chair, as well as hanging, Okay, so we would hang someone. Um, the firing squad, okay, so we would shoot them. Okay, as well as the gas chamber. The gas chamber and lethal injection um, are fairly similar, okay, but lethal injection is, uh, is uh, a shot. Okay, it's an administration of drugs that then kills you. The gas chamber is gas that kills you. Okay? The old time skeleton. Uh, what's that? In France, they used to kill uh, and use guillotine. You know it? Oh yes, the guillotine. Yeah. Yeah, the guillotine where they were where they would uh, okay. chop the person's head off. Yes. Yes, definitely. Okay. Uh, very good. Let's go to Juan. Juan, can you hear me now? Or is your mic working rather? Uh yes. There you go. Okay, number five, please. Autopsy. And that, and remember the AU, the AU, mm -hmm. just like the AW, uh, would be AW. Only the AW sound instead of AW. Autopsy. Autopsy. Good, good. All right. What would be an autopsy? What do you think? A medical procedure to determine exactly how a person died. Okay, good. A medical procedure. This is G, you guys. A medical procedure to determine exactly how a person died. Okay, excellent. Okay, uh, number six. Number six is for Nikon. Six, that row. It's a kind of that sentence. Um, All right, uh, make sure you, you pronounce that, that T-H in death. Death row. Death, death row. There you go. Um, prison area for people who have been sentenced to death. Good, yeah, that that's what we call um, that that area. Okay, death row. There's been uh, many movies uh, made about that. One of one of my favorites is a movie called The Green Mile. Yeah. It's if you uh, if you haven't seen that movie, I definitely uh, um, I definitely recommend it. The Green Mile is fabulous. Okay. Yep. I guess Tom Hanks. Oh my gosh. Hello? Where is Chet? I think when he tried to 
to type, he get a mute mute. Mm -hmm. There is also a good movie about this topic, uh, Dead Man Walking. Mm. Which one? Dead Man Walking. Dead Man Walking. Hmm. Who was the actor? I don't remember that movie. Yeah. Uh, it was. Um, <laughs> I can't remember I right it. now. <laughs> it's, uh,